There's been plenty of buzz around the Los Angeles Lakers' new additions, including Bronny James, the son of LeBron James, and sharpshooter Dalton Connect. While these players have grabbed the spotlight early on, the team may have uncovered a hidden gem in Quincy Olivari, whose performance is starting to raise eyebrows in the preseason. Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. Olivari, an undrafted guard who spent his last college season playing for Xavier University, joined the Lakers on an Exhibit 10 contract this offseason. For those unfamiliar, an Exhibit 10 deal allows the team to evaluate a player's potential during training camp, with the flexibility to convert the contract into a two-way deal or assign the player to the G League. It's not a guaranteed path to the NBA, but it gives players like Olivari a valuable chance to prove themselves. He wasted no time making an impression. During a preseason game against the Milwaukee Bucks, Olivari led an incredible comeback for the Lakers, helping them erase a double-digit deficit with a stunning 20-0 run in the fourth quarter. That performance alone turned heads, showing his poise and confidence under pressure. Olivari's breakout moment continued during the Lakers' final preseason game against the Golden State Warriors, where the team rested most of their starters, including LeBron James and Anthony Davis. This gave Olivari a prime opportunity to showcase his skills. And he didn't disappoint. Playing for 39 minutes, he scored 22 points, shooting 8-4-16 from the field and an impressive 5-4-9 from beyond the arc. His shooting stroke and composure stood out, signaling that the young guard might have more to offer than originally expected. After the game, Olivari had the chance to meet Stephen Curry, the Warriors superstar and four-time NBA champion. For the young guard, it wasn't just a casual interaction, it was a life-changing moment. Olivari spoke openly about what it meant to meet his idol, someone who has inspired him throughout his basketball journey. He's my favorite player ever, Olivari said with enthusiasm. The first thing he told me was, I'm a big fan of your game, and honestly, that was surreal to hear from him. I've admired him my entire life. I had his jersey growing up, and he signed it twice. I used to sleep under that jersey every night. I just wanted to be like him, Olivari continued, describing the emotional weight of the encounter. Meeting him in person and realizing that he respects my game, it's something I never imagined. We talked backstage for a bit, and then he gave me a pair of his shoes, signed them, and told me to keep working hard. That gesture meant the world to me. It's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. For any young player, getting words of encouragement from an NBA icon like Curry is invaluable. But for Olivari, the encounter wasn't just about meeting a star, it was a moment of validation. After going undrafted, moments like these serve as powerful motivation to keep pushing forward, especially in a league where opportunities can be hard to come by. Now, the big question is whether Olivari will make the Lakers' main roster. The team is still finalizing its lineup for the regular season, and competition for spots is fierce. If he doesn't make the final cut, the Lakers could assign him to their G League affiliate, the South Bay Lakers, where he would have the opportunity to further develop his skills. Even if he starts the season in the G League, Olivari has already shown flashes of potential that could earn him a call-up later in the season. The Lakers are known for developing talent through their G League system, with players like Alex Caruso and Austin Reeves being prime examples of success stories. Olivari could be the next in line if he continues to perform at a high level. His shooting ability, poise under pressure, and strong work ethic make him a compelling prospect. And now, with the added boost of encouragement from a superstar like Curry, Olivari has even more reason to believe in his future. Getting praise from one of the greatest shooters in NBA history is not just a compliment, it's a signal that he belongs at this level. The Lakers are in a unique position this season, blending veteran experience with younger talent. While LeBron James and Anthony Davis continue to anchor the team, the front office is clearly looking toward the future by bringing in young players who can contribute now and develop over time. Olivari's situation presents the team with a decision to make. Do they give him a shot on the main roster, or do they opt to stash him in the G League for more seasoning? The Exhibit 10 contract gives them flexibility, but the young guard's performance in the preseason might make it hard to keep him off the roster. Regardless of what happens next, Olivari has already made an impression that won't soon be forgotten. His story is a reminder that in the NBA, it's not always about where you start, it's about what you do with the opportunities you're given. Whether he starts the season with the Lakers or the South Bay affiliate, Olivari seems determined to make the most of every chance he gets. Stephen Curry's influence extends far beyond his own on-court accomplishments. For young players like Olivari, Curry represents more than just a great athlete. He embodies what's possible through hard work, 
resilience, and passion for the game. Curry's journey from being doubted early in his career to becoming a four-time NBA champion is an inspiration for players who aren't handed opportunities on a silver platter. That's why moments like these are so impactful. For Olivari, receiving words of encouragement from Curry and walking away with a pair of his signed shoes goes beyond fan appreciation. It's a symbol of what's possible if he continues to believe in himself and work tirelessly to improve. Quincy Olivari's journey is just beginning, but he's already shown flashes of potential that make him a player to watch. His standout performance in the preseason, combined with his emotional encounter with Curry, adds an extra layer to his story. While it's still unclear whether he'll earn a spot on the Lakers' main roster, one thing is certain, Olivari is determined to make his mark. In the high-stakes world of professional basketball, getting a compliment from someone like Stephen Curry can be a game-changer. And for Quincy Olivari, it's not just a compliment, it's fuel for the journey ahead. Whether his path takes him through the G League or straight to the NBA, Olivari is ready to keep pushing forward, one step and one shot at a time. The Los Angeles Lakers will kick off their 2023-24 NBA season without one of their key defensive specialists, Jared Vanderbilt. Head coach J.J. Redick confirmed that Vanderbilt, despite positive recovery progress, won't be ready for the season opener and will miss at least the first five games. The Lakers are scheduled to begin their campaign on October 22nd against the Minnesota Timberwolves, but unfortunately, Vanderbilt won't be part of the rotation during this initial stretch. Redick addressed the media, saying, Jared's recovery is progressing well, and everything is moving in the right direction without setbacks. However, we'll likely go the next two weeks without new updates. As things stand, he will not be available at the start of the season. This news might not come as a surprise to Lakers fans. Vanderbilt missed the final two months of last season due to a lingering foot injury, and after the team's playoff exit, he underwent surgeries on both feet. The organization expected his rehabilitation to take some time, and although his absence doesn't raise major concerns about long-term health, it's still a setback for a team aiming to build momentum early in the season. The Lakers were initially hopeful that Vanderbilt would be ready to play against the Timberwolves, but that plan has now changed. We have to think long-term with Jared, Reddick emphasized. We've got a long, grueling season ahead, and everyone involved, the coaching staff, medical team, and Jared himself, is aligned with this approach. We want to handle his recovery carefully to ensure he's fully ready. Our goal is to do this the right way, without rushing him back onto the court. In about two weeks, we expect to have more clarity on when he'll be able to join us. Reddick also admitted that Vanderbilt's absence presents challenges for the team, especially as the coach works to implement a new defensive system. Vanderbilt's size, athleticism, and versatility make him a vital piece of the Lakers' plans on the defensive end. His ability to switch between multiple positions and disrupt opponents with his length gives the Lakers an edge that few other teams possess. Reddick elaborated on how the team is preparing despite Vanderbilt's absence. We've spent training camp focusing on being physical, playing with intensity, and executing full-court pressure. Defensive switching has been a major emphasis, and we're working on some creative zone schemes to keep opponents off balance. The key for us is to be disruptive, and I have no doubt that when Jared returns, he'll play a critical role in helping us achieve that. While waiting for Vanderbilt's return, Reddick has been experimenting with Cam Reddish as a temporary replacement in Vanderbilt's role. The coach is optimistic about the early results and believes that once Vanderbilt is back, the team will see even greater improvement on defense. We've already tried some sets with Cam stepping in for Jared, and it's been working well, Reddick said. Now, just imagine how things will look when we have the real thing. A forward with Jared's skill set is exactly what we need to execute our vision. He'll be a huge boost for us, and I'm excited about what's to come once he's healthy. The decision to be cautious with Vanderbilt makes sense, given the Lakers' desire to ensure he's 100% before returning. His absence during the preseason hinted that he wasn't quite ready to play, and Reddick revealed that Vanderbilt hasn't completed a single full practice with the team yet. That said, the organization remains patient and focused on long-term success. Jared has been following our recovery protocols perfectly, and everything is progressing according to plan, Reddick assured reporters. We haven't encountered any setbacks, which is encouraging. But to be transparent, he hasn't been able to go through a full practice session with the team yet. We're taking it day by day, knowing that patience is key at this point. Vanderbilt's absence is undoubtedly disappointing, especially given how much the team was counting on him. His versatility allows the Lakers to adjust defensive schemes on the fly, and without him, 
Reddick and the coaching staff will have to make some early adjustments. However, Reddick remains optimistic about the team's ability to overcome this temporary setback, emphasizing the importance of maintaining momentum throughout the season. It's frustrating not having Jared out there right now, Reddick admitted. We designed a lot of our defensive concepts with him in mind, so not having him delays things a bit. But I've been really encouraged by what I've seen from the group so far. The team has bought into the system, and the effort has been outstanding. We'll make it work until Jared returns, and once he's back, we'll be even better. The Golden State Warriors trading Steph Curry to the Los Angeles Lakers is a prediction, not a reaction to any confirmed reports. In the realm of the NBA, even the most far-fetched ideas can quickly turn into reality. Could the Los Angeles Lakers pull off the unthinkable and land Steph Curry in a trade with the Golden State Warriors? For this scenario to unfold, several key factors would need to align. The most likely catalyst would be a disappointing 2024-25 season for the Warriors, either by missing the playoffs or suffering an early first-round exit. In that case, both the Warriors and Curry might feel that it's time to explore all options, including parting ways to allow Curry to chase a new chapter and for Golden State to secure significant assets in return. What makes this idea intriguing is the long-standing speculation about Curry teaming up with LeBron James before both superstars retire. This dream pairing has been a hot topic among fans and analysts alike. The potential chemistry between these two all-time greats, combined with Anthony Davis's presence, could result in one of the most exciting trios in NBA history. If Golden State decides it's time to retool, they could look to the Lakers for a package of young talent and valuable draft picks. Players like Austin Reeves and Rue Hakimura offer versatility and upside, while D'Angelo Russell adds scoring and playmaking. For a team thinking long-term, Acquiring unprotected first-round picks for 2025 and 2027 would be crucial assets to help rebuild. Meanwhile, the Lakers would become an immediate championship favorite. The combination of Curry, LeBron, and Davis would give the team the kind of firepower and balance that's rarely seen. Unlike the ill-fated Brooklyn Nets experiment with Harden, Durant, and Kyrie, where ball dominance created chemistry issues, this trio would complement each other perfectly. Steph Curry's ability to play off the ball makes him an ideal fit for the Lakers. His off-ball movement and gravity are unparalleled, creating open lanes for teammates and wreaking havoc on opposing defenses. LeBron James has already demonstrated a willingness to let guards like Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell initiate the offense at times, preserving his energy for crunch time. With Curry on the roster, the Lakers could seamlessly rotate their offense, keeping opponents on their heels throughout the game. Warriors fans may not like the idea of parting ways with their franchise icon, but there's been growing speculation about what Curry's future holds. NBA insider Anthony Slater has reported that new Warriors GM Mike Dunleavy Jr. is keeping Curry involved in roster decisions to ensure the star guard feels valued. However, there's also an understanding that Curry's long-term commitment to the Warriors depends on the team's ability to remain competitive. If the Warriors struggle to contend this season, Curry could start weighing his options. At 36 years old, he still has a few elite years left, but he may want to finish his career in a situation where he has a legitimate shot at winning another championship. If Golden State can't provide that path, Curry might decide that it's time to move on. The Lakers are one of the few franchises that could offer Curry the perfect blend of competitiveness and star power. Playing alongside LeBron and Davis would allow Curry to maximize his skills while reducing the physical burden that comes with being the primary offensive option. In this setup, LeBron could continue to orchestrate the offense, while Curry's off-ball prowess would create endless opportunities. Davis, meanwhile, would anchor the defense and provide another scoring threat in the paint. This trio wouldn't just dominate on the court, they would also become one of the most marketable groups in NBA history. The combination of Curry's global appeal, LeBron's iconic status, and the Lakers' brand would generate unprecedented media attention and financial success. Of course, Pulling off a trade of this magnitude wouldn't be easy. The Warriors would need to be convinced that it's in their best interest to part ways with Curry, and the Lakers would have to sacrifice key pieces of their current roster to make the deal work. Timing would also be crucial. Golden State would need to be in a position where they're ready to pivot toward a rebuild, and the Lakers would have to believe that adding Curry would push them over the top in their championship quest. There's also the question of Curry's willingness to leave Golden State. After spending his entire career with the Warriors and becoming the face of the franchise, walking away wouldn't be an easy decision. However, if he feels that the team's championship window has closed, Curry might see the Lakers as the perfect opportunity to end his career on a high note. 
While this scenario remains purely speculative, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. The NBA is known for its blockbuster trades, and stranger things have happened. If the Warriors struggle to contend this season, don't be surprised if Curry starts to explore other options. And if that happens, the Lakers would likely be one of the first teams to make a call. The idea of Curry teaming up with LeBron and Davis is the stuff of basketball dreams. It's a partnership that could change the landscape of the NBA and give Curry the chance to add another championship to his already impressive legacy. For now, it's just a prediction, but in the ever-unpredictable world of the NBA, anything is possible.